good men exist. And you can manifest the perfect marriage, perfect relationship, perfect commitment easily. But here's a few things you gotta know and do. Revisit your past love experiences, the shitty ones, and ask yourself, how did it make me feel? What did it teach me about myself? What I want in relationships and out of relationships, out of a partner? What are my emotional needs? And obviously evaluating your past experiences, identify what you do not want. Surely on that basis, you are going to rewrite your story. You're gonna identify the things that you don't want and you will write your needs, what your emotional needs are. Based on your emotional needs, you are going to be communicating with new people. This automatically changes your energetic frequency because first of all, it aligns you with people who are more likely to meet your needs. Because when you're clear in your mind, you know, your energetic frequency gets cleared up as well. And you are signaling, you're vibrating in a more clear frequency because, and that's how manifestations come to fruition faster. Because when you are mixed up in your mind, maybe you're really, really, wanted uh, a certain treatment and you tried to get that from a person in the past but they were just not ready for you and instead they gaslighted you into believing that you don't deserve it or that you're asking way too much that means that this person was not ready for you okay and your needs are not an exaggeration they gaslighted you because they were not ready for you but they still wanted to take advantage of you in the meantime so that you get swayed away from your truth from what you want and you follow their path which is using you just like giving them an ability to inflate their ego because of you if you're not there their ego don't exist if you're not there can't manipulate so you are creating their experiences based on the past love experiences i want you to identify what you want and what you need write your story start dating partners purely on that basis do not hide what you want and what you need from relationship do not give in right away communicate your needs evaluate a partner first even when meeting a new person evaluate them and see whether they can meet your needs or not communicate what you want so that it doesn't become a surprise later on you have to do it unapologetically and this is how you get a good treatment this is how you find a partner who will meet your needs not just waiting for them to you know magically give it to you it don't work like that when you're confident in what you want and you're not scared of communicating your needs regardless of whether that person is going to meet them or not whether they're going to continue talking to you or not you don't give a fuck because you're so confident and you're like okay if it doesn't work out that's fine you know someone else will the mindset you gotta have in love especially when manifesting because yeah visualizing a person da 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 you know and being obsessed with you it all works path to ultimate happiness communicating your needs finding a partner who can meet them so look at your past experiences as a learning lesson because all of these things were teaching you about yourself because we don't know what we want until something happens to us that we don't want helps us identify what we actually want so rewrite your story rewrite how you see the past experiences so that you don't recreate them because if you, if you stay stuck on how people treated you how poor little me you know you are and victim it's like every single relationship went like this always got gaslighted i always got this that and the other you already are limiting yourself to experiencing only what you know like you're not even allowing your brain to go into the different possibilities i mean if you don't allow your brain to perceive new and better things for yourself then it don't exist for you the same way it goes for the double slit experiment right? when they put the camera and the molecule started to act differently they started to get dis distributed differently when the camera was watching them meaning consciousness when you're aware you know things change when you're aware when you're conscious of a matter a matter tends to change if you're not aware of what you want i mean you may be aware but you may not focus on it but instead you focus on the things that you don't want because they spurred emotion emotional reactions and you know whatever we attach emotions is pretty hard to let go i mean that's psychology but you're recreating the same experience so good treatment the opposite of the bad don't exist for you because you're you're not focusing on it study metaphysics you will see that in a double slit experiment when they put a consciousness meaning camera right seeing some device that was aware and it was a part of consciousness the matter changed and in your case, in your life experiences, in your case, in the 3D, matter is circumstances, situations. They do tend to change. When you allow yourself to focus on the different things, on the things that you actually want to experience and not the things you don't want to experience because you're just feeding that energetically. And then a universe is aligning you with the worst possibility where stuff that you are focusing on, good or bad, is in excess this changes your layer of the world that becomes just your entire reality 
but other people don't have this reality okay because they're not focusing on it so it all comes down to your consciousness you are a part of higher consciousness use it wisely okay so all the past shit no matter what area of your life that happened to you was literally teaching you about what you want that's it if you start seeing it like this you'll see new and better possibilities for yourself and better people coming into your life who are willing to treat you like a queen like a king they don't want to fool around they want you to be really reassured in who you are so you can go after your goals and achieve the things that you want for yourself because having a good partner who supports you will help you to uh, succeed in other areas as well i truly believe that and i did experience that when i started to look at my past love situations and relationships that i've been in from a different lens from a different perspective not from a victim mindset perspective but from a more of like objective point of view and trying to identify okay this happened i clearly didn't like that that happened i clearly like that so okay what do i want to manifest and using the laws of nature you know law of attraction all of these universal laws is that you know focus on the things that you want so i started focusing on opposite of that like whenever I would go there, it was my reality would change. And I saw instantaneously how it worked, how I would attract the worst possibility as soon as I focus on it. Because I have this awareness, watching myself, I'm observing myself like I had to because I was taken over by my unconscious programming. So I'm telling you guys, start watching yourself uh, throughout the day, observe yourself what you want and what you don't want. What are you focusing on that's actually detrimental? When you see the connection of how your mind manifests your reality, the first manifestation is the feeling state. You just start feeling shitty and then shit goes wrong. And then you align yourself with that possibility, with a possibility that's negative, that reflects your vibration. Like you can't experience anything better than what you're already feeling about yourself. If you're feeling shitty, then more of feeling shitty is gonna come by you seeing it reflect in your reality so that you have a reason to feel more shitty. And you're gonna blame that external thing. But you were already feeling shitty. It's just a confirmation that this is being reflected now. If you start seeing it like that, it will fucking change your life. But instead you're like, oh, again, it's them. That's why I feel this way, it's this. You were already feeling shitty. It's just a confirmation for you to wake the fuck up and get centered. Release the focus from the bad and focus on what you actually want because you will quickly get your life fucked up like this. I'm telling you, I almost did that. Follow for more.